Okay, this story is called The Armadillo from Amarillo. I do really like the story. It gives us a little bit of uh, perspective for space as well as the United States. So I hope you like it as well. I wanted to discuss the vocabulary because we will be using these later in the week in our reading workbook. The words for this story are eventually, universe, sphere, continent, converse, and homeward. So eventually is an adverb. It means um, at some point something will happen. Universe is where we live in the Milky Way galaxy and beyond. A sphere is a ball. Continent is a large area of land. To converse is to talk. And homeward is to head home. The Armadillo from Amarillo written and illustrated by Lynn Cherry, and your quiz number is 40208. We have our character Brillo's, I'm sorry, we have our characters Brillo and Sasparillo. An armadillo from Texas wondered, where in the world am I? What's out beyond these tangled woods? What's out beyond the sky? So armadillo packed up his things and left his home behind. He headed off on a northeast course to seek what he could find. He traveled to the nearby city of San Antonio, and from the top of the highest tower he saw where he might go. But Armadillo still wondered, where, where in the world am I? What's out beyond the prairie grass? What's out beyond that sky? He followed the river past twisted oaks, through ancient juniper trees, shared by warblers and vireos and Carolina chickadees. The landscape changed dramatically through woodland towns and plains. Armadillo explored canyons and walked through heavy rains. He walked for weeks and came to Austin, continued west and north to Abilene and Lubbock. He hiked and sallied forth. Armadillo often along the way climbed up to higher ground. He scurried up the canyon walls and stopped to look around. How different were the plains above? Flowers went on for a mile. Armadillo decided to settle down and stay there for a while. But Armadillo still wondered where, where in the world am I? Perhaps I'd have a better idea if I could somehow fly. One day he asked the golden eagle as she came breezing by, What can I do for a bird's eye view from up in the big blue sky? Hop on my back, said the eagle. I'll fly, fly you wide and far. And then you'll see, eventually, where in the world we are. Upward and upward the eagle flew. Armadillo held on tight. With my tail tip curled, I'll explore the world from morning until night. Armadillo looked down below and asked, Where in the world are we? We're over a prairie, and in the distance, that's Amarillo, you see. We've flown over the prairie, we've flown over a town. Amarillo means yellow, my dear little fellow, and the prairie's all yellow and brown. I see Amarillo, said Armadillo. Could we see all Texas, though? And if we fly higher up into the sky, could we even see New Mexico? Or if we fly higher up into the sky, could we see the entire Earth? Well, certainly, surely, if you hold on securely, we'll try, cried the eagle with mirth. Amarillo's a city? asked Armadillo. To this the eagle replied, Yes, Amarillo's a city in Texas, the state where we reside. And Texas is in the United States, our country wide and dear, on the northern American continent, which is on the earth, a sphere. This sphere is called a planet. Of nine we are just one. And as we converse in the universe, these planets turn round the sun. Armadillo held tightly to Eagle's neck, afraid of a long, long fall. From over his shoulder, with the air getting colder, this is what he saw. They flew so high up into the sky that Texas they saw below, a part they call the Panhandle with the state of New Mexico. With my tail tip curled, I'll explore the world, Armadillo said to his friend. Through the clouds they twirled in the wind, they whirled and up they were hurled again. 
and when they looked up they could see into space they'd flown up into thin air it's hard to breathe here i'd really like to leave here eagle homeward let's repair we're very high now said eagle on the edge of air and space the atmosphere's ending we should be descending but what a remarkable place there must be a way to fly higher up bringing some air aboard perhaps we should travel to cape canaveral eagle said as she soared as they spoke of cape canaveral the rocket launching place a shuttle took off with a roar of fire and headed out toward space eagle had a brilliant thought and whistled a happy tune let's hitch a trip on this rocket ship and fly up to the moon with a burst of speed the eagle flew in the path of the rocket ship it took her an armadillo aboard and continued on its trip the higher they flew the farther they saw louisiana and arkansas and there were some other countries below they could even see cuba and mexico the spaceship then zoomed so high up that armadillo could not tell where a country began or ended or where its borders fell the earth was now so far away so very very far i'm wondering said armadillo where in the world we are we are out of this world said the eagle to the armadillo her friend ten miles from earth starts the universe right at the atmosphere's end from space the earth was a big round ball with swirling clouds of white against a deep blue background like the blue black sky at night planets shone around them reflecting star-like light in that silent room floating in the dark they traveled on through the night before them was was earth's silver moon a white and glowing sphere they hovered there floating in thin air over craters with no fear and as they watched in wonder the earth rose on the horizon they sat and gazed at their far-off home watched earth set and earth rising armadillo said i'm homesick hey eagle let's go back let's go back down to our yellow town away from all this blue and black the rocket began a downward arc then flew over land and sea the adventurous pair flew through the air to their home by the yellow prairie he'd wondered where in the world he was and now armadillo knew he said i know where in the scheme of things i am eagle thanks to you i now live near amarillo a city that's rather small which is in the state of texas one of fifty states in all in the united states of america the country of my birth on the North American continent, in the world, on planet Earth. In all there are nine planets, and Earth is only one, and as we converse in the universe, eight planets besides this one, warmly, hotly, coldly, coolly, revolve around the sun. I love this story. It has so many cool social studies factors and science factors in it. Obviously, we uh, know that it's not nine planets anymore it's eight but the rest of the story is true i think my favorite image is here with them watching earth rise like we watch the moon rise you can see the rest of the sphere outlined there i outlined excuse me there um, this is the page in which they call the earth the blue marble this is cape canaveral where nasa sends rocket ships out pretty cool place um, here you can see the plots of land are in squares or even if it were a town and we're so zoomed far away it looks like um, blocks which is why they call streets uh, blocks in the flat prairie with the town that popped up there um, you can see erosion happening here and weathering happening here um, the plain is beautiful with the canyon here lots of wildflowers Texas has a very unique um, uh, ground it, it pops up and goes down and then we can see a city here and then of course back to the beginning so I hope you enjoyed this story and your AR quiz is number 40208 thank you